Hey guys, Trace Adams for Saturday. Going to return Sunday, no later than 11 a.m. Eastern with another complimentary release. We've got a Saturday freebie coming your way in college basketball in the dance in just one moment. And so far, I have not been the prom king that I thought I was going to be. So far, I have been a wallflower standing on the sidelines licking my wounds. Let's recap because it hasn't been pretty. And you know, when you have to get on this video message day in and day out, you have to accept the good with the bad. And right now, it is bad. On Thursday, I went big. 2,000 star, double your wager release. SMU Mustangs, they were sleepwalking for the first half and into the second half, well into the second half. Then they woke up and went on a 19 to nothing run to take a nine point lead. The heck, they were even up seven with a minute 22 to go. And as you know, that phantom goal 10 call, which I think is a phantom goal 10 call, let's say they get the rebound, they wind up hitting a couple free throws. We escape with at least a push, but uh uh, it was a loser. Also, a 500 star pay after you win that day on Notre Dame as they took on Northeastern, and the Irish were up. 11 with about 7 minutes to go and couldn't put the fork in Northeastern as they let the Wildcats uh, flirt around for the cover in that one, or the easy cover, almost the outright win for crying out loud. That was Thursday. Then on Friday, 1500 star, raised the bar, Wichita State. They got on their horse late, but they were up and they had a chance to at least push the closing number of six. And Ron Baker misses the second of two free throws with about six seconds to go. And Wichita State wins by five as the six-point favorite. But that's not all. The 500-star pay after you win on Georgia plus the six. And they lose by seven to Michigan State. Absolutely snake bit. And you know what? I am glad that it's out of my system because now it is time to get serious here. We've seen each team play once. We're ready to go. For round two, I've always been a reactionary handicapper, and that's going to be the case this year as well. We will do the damage now from here on in. I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. Everybody takes bad beats. Of course, I apologize for losing. You pay me money to win, and I haven't produced that. But now it is time to hunker down and get back to basics. So today, a pair of winners for you, a top-rated 1,000 star, number 7 of 10 goes out. And that's the Saturday Best Bet winner going out on Butler and Notre Dame for Saturday night. Top-rated winner, top-rated 1,000-star winner, number 7 of 10, Butler and Notre Dame for Saturday night. Also for Saturday night, 500-star pay after you win, Living Lock, Arkansas, and North Carolina. Must win or you will not be charged. That's the way the pay after you win play works. Pair of winners for Saturday. And when I say winners, I do mean winners as the worm is definitely due to turn for yours truly after some snake-bitten losers on Thursday and Friday. There you have it. There it is. Now, your comp winner for Saturday is UCLA over UAB because I can't understand for the life of me why the UCLA Bruins are favored by six in this game. There's got to be a reason. As bad as the Bruins played in that second half with all of their turnovers and then the phantom goaltend call that gave them the win, they're laying six to a UAB team that looked pretty darn good and snuffing out Iowa State on Thursday. But perhaps UAB is a little bit drained from that victory. So I'm going to lay it and go with the Bruins. Going to go against the grain here and go with the Bruins over the Blazers. UCLA over UAB. We'll talk to you Sunday, 11 a.m. Eastern. As always, Trace Adams, dead serious about winning.